The Mary Celeste. The biggest unsolved maritime mystery to date is the strange disappearance of the crew aboard the ship the Mary Celeste in 1872. Last seen in New York with its captain Benjamin Spooner Briggs and its crew of seven, the ship set sail with 1,700 barrels of American alcohol destined for Italy. A few weeks later, it was found adrift in the Atlantic Ocean with its lifeboat missing and no signs of the crew. To date, no one has been able to explain why the crew abandoned the ship, left all their belongings and the entire cargo on board. Conspiracy historians have offered up various theories, including pirates, creatures from the deep, abductions by aliens, submarines, and even time travel. But with no solid evidence, we'll just never know. The Nazca Lines The ancient Nazca civilization flourished for over 800 years in the deserts of Peru before it mysteriously collapsed around 650 AD leaving behind the peculiar Nazca Lines, which has become a subject of study, intense debate and speculation for many years. There are around 70 different lines that form distinctive images and geometric shapes, such as spiders, birds, monkeys, triangles, spirals and circles, and these are best viewed when flying overhead. So this leaves one to wonder how the Nazca people constructed these images during a time when manned flight wasn't known to even exist. Archaeologists believe that the lines were made by brushing away the reddish rocks and pebbles, allowing the white sand to show through, and due to the very dry, very windless, and very isolated conditions of the Nazca area, the lines have existed for over 2,000 years. There are no shortages of theories as well for the purpose of the lines, of course, with some of them including being a tribute to Nazca gods, a, a sacred ritualistic route, an airstrip for advanced, ancient, or alien civilizations. You decide. Kryptos. Located just outside the CIA headquarters, is a large grey sculpture that curves around on itself like a rolled piece of paper. Created by artist Jim Sanborn, this encrypted sculpture is aptly named the Kryptos, because it contains four encrypted inscriptions that no one to date has been able to completely solve. Not even the CIA have been able to fully crack this code. In 2006, Sanborn let slip that there are clues in the first inscriptions to the last one, and in 2010 he released another clue. The letters 64, 69, in part 4, which are N, Y, P, V, T, T, encode the text Berlin. The mystery within the sculpture has had the best cryptographers puzzling to solve it forever. The Wow Signal While working on a project at the Ohio Perkins Observatory in 1977, astronomer Jerry Ehrman, Jerry Ehrman would uh, usually glance at prints which were generated by the radio telescope known as the Big Ear. However, on August 15th, whilst glancing at the prints, he saw something that astounded him so much that he wrote WOW on the printout. But what exactly was it? According to him, what he saw was the strongest, clearest, and most significant signal ever recorded. It lasted for 72 seconds. It came from the far reaches of outer space, about 120 light years away. Could it have been an intentional message from an alien world? Now dubbed as the WOW signal, all attempts to find it again have been unsuccessful, leading to much controversy and mystery about its origins and, of course, its meaning. Jack the Ripper The year, 1888. The setting? The impoverished area of Whitechapel, London. Police began an investigation into a string of gruesome murders involving prostitutes, 
Whilst it was not unusual for people to vanish in that particular part of the town, the sadistic mutilations carried out on these bodies, as well as the sensational letters sent to the local press from Jack the Ripper, caused widespread panic throughout the city. The fact that these murders were never solved has created countless conspiracy theories as to who Jack the Ripper actually was, with suspects ranging from convicted wife killer to a barista, a doctor, an agent of the Russian secret police, but it is still a mystery as to who exactly is responsible for these series of murders. Beneath Stonehenge Stonehenge has always been thought of as a mysterious place, as well as a standalone structure. But unprecedented ground mapping technology revealed that Stonehenge did not always stand by its lonesome. Beneath the 5,000 year old stone structure is an archaeological treasure trove, made up of thousands of monuments that include shrines, burial mounds, deep pits and other unexplained features. The vast amount of information gathered on the site and from the site is still being analyzed and has given archaeologists archeolo a renewed excitement about Stonehenge. The Babushka Lady After the infamous assassination of John F. Kennedy in 1963, lots of the film footage from that shocking event was collected and analyzed but not all. A mysterious woman wearing a brown overcoat and a Russian hairstyle is seen in a lot of the footage and appears to be holding what looks like a camera to her face. Even after the assassination, whilst people are fleeing from the area, she is spotted in some pictures still filming or, or taking pictures. Interested in what evidence she might have recorded, the FBI publicly requested that she come forward with the footage. But only fraudsters answered the call, and to this day she is known only as the Babushka Lady. Her identity and her motives remain a mystery. The Overtorn Bridge Over the past 50 years, somewhere close to 600 dogs have reportedly jumped off Scotland's Overtorn Bridge. Also known as the Dog Suicide Bridge, this infamous arch bridge has received international media attention and has many people confused by the subsequent doggy strange behavior. What could possibly cause these canines to leap to their deaths? The weirdest thing is that some of the survivors of the fall return to the same spot and jump again. The jumpers are mostly long-nosed breeds such as Labradors, Collies, Golden Retrievers, so one of the possible reasons for the death is the potent odour from male mink urine. And that is luring the keen-nosed dogs to their deaths. However, a local hunter claimed that there is absolutely no mink in the area. Wait, if there's no mink in the area, why are we bringing mink up? The Green Children during the 12th century in the village of Woolpit, located in the UK, two children mysteriously appeared from nowhere. Besides the unrecognizable language they spoke, the odd thing about the pair was the color of their skin, which, according to the report, was green. The pair, which were brother and sister, refused to eat anything other than raw beans for some reason, and since no one came forward to claim the little siblings, the village kind of adopted them. And after some time, their skin lost its green color, and they learned to speak English, and they were asked questions naturally. And according to them, they were from a place called the Land of St. Martin, which was apparently a dark place, and the sun never rose far above the horizon. While they were tending to their father's herd, they were drawn to the sound of bells ringing in the distance. They followed it, and they found a river of light, which eventually led to their arrival at Woolpit. There are many, many explanations and theories given about where they could have come from. The more unusual of these theories is that they came from the hollow earth, or from a parallel dimension, or my personal favorite, they are simply lost extraterrestrials. The Voynich Manuscript Be it of alien origin, or text of an unknown civilization, or just the ramblings of a madman, no one can deny 
that the Voynich Manuscript is the world's most mysterious manuscript. Originating from Italy around the 1400s, Wilfred M. Voynich acquired it in 1912. This 240-page book is written in an unrecognizable language and is filled with colorful drawings of strange diagrams, odd events, and plants that don't seem to match any known species of the time. Language analysts suggest that it's similar to European languages in grammar and formatting, but to this day, no one can decipher it, which adds to the intrigue of the document. One thing most theorists agree on is that the book is unlikely to be a hoax, given the amount of time, money, and detail that would have been required to make it.